Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So today we're gonna to be talking about Tititri Selfie Ring Light. This is a company that actually contacted me personally and said, hey, we have a review unit we want you to test out. I said, send it my way. There was no money given, so this is gonna be a non-biased review. So in this video, we're gonna be doing a hands-on with the box. Then we're gonna do a quick unboxing and first impressions. And after that, I'm gonna put this to the At Home with Lucas test and figure out is this something you should buy or skip? I'm gonna tell you so you don't have to waste your time buying and returning. All right, by the way, this was all lit by the ring light only and my window. <laughs> that is the only light I have going on right now. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's take a look at this giant box right quick. So you got the selfie ring light with tripod stand right chair. You got some kind of starry sort of coolness right here. This box is extremely hard to uh, film. My light that I have over here is not playing well. As you can see, it just completely destroys. Um, there we go. All right, take a look over here. Oh, this is a challenge. All right, so we got the 7200 milliamp hour battery. That is what's up, people. Mini size, three colors, of course, that's what you want. Blue light blocking, very awesome. Ooh, wireless remote, did not know that was coming. USB optional output. <laughs> USB output, SL7, that is the model, and this looks like it says something right chair. All right, ooh, I'm glad this side only has a little bit on it. Here we go. All right, so more of what I just said, you got the 7200 milliamp hour battery, Cool, cool. Wireless remote, awesome. Take a look down here. We got some more jibber jabber. And at the top, it looks like they want to just keep repeating. Very, very simple, very cool. Let's get inside this box. All right, so tucked away in the box is the user manual. Very, very important to read all of this. Get that out of the way. Ooh. Take a look at the remote first. This feels like something that I got with my uh, speaker system that I put in my 95 Dodge Dakota back in high school. I had a little remote, but this is very cool. It's very simple, straight to the point. You got the power on, you got the mode, you got the plus and the minus. I like that a lot. It's just very simple, very straightforward, super, super lightweight, probably as heavy as a quarter, I would imagine. So lightweight. There is the tripod right here the bottom is kind of a little bit rubbery that's very interesting um oh wow it's super compact okay i will be checking this out in greater detail later on but it feels like it's yeah just simple plastic and then it gets a little bit rubbery at the bottom it's got some grips at the bottom also which is very nice and then this is just straight simple metal standard sort of tripod head right there. Nothing too fancy, nothing too expensive about that. All right, the creme de la creme, the light. Oh, look at that, glorious. This is very, very interesting. Oh, wow. Oh, interesting. Is that a phone holder? My gusto, my gusto, my gusto, my gusto. Wow, look at that, that is very, very cool. All right, so let's go ahead and ooh, there we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Go ahead and brighten it. Yeah, woo! That is extremely bright. Wow, very very nice. All right, the modes. Let's go ahead and check the temp. Oops, there we go. All right, very nice. Very simple. The button pressing is extremely precise. That is what you want when you're dealing with a light like this. You do not want to be pressing and not having it hit. That is very cool. Of course, fully capacitive touch. All right, first impressions. This is made out of a very, very solid plastic. It conveys a lot of confidence. If you do drop it, it's not going to break. Um, it's made out of a plastic that's feels very dense and very, very strong, and it also conveys confidence. So it feels like it's premium plastic, which is really, really funny to say because it is just simply plastic, but 
Wow, that is very, very nice. Yeah, so first impressions, the build quality is super, super strong. When you hold it in your hand, it feels like it, it, it is so nice. Now, this is where it, it could get a little bit funny. Um, this feels a little bit like uh, sort of, yeah, slightly cheap metal, but I could be wrong on that. Of course, after I use it, I'll find out a lot more. Um, the rubber grip, of course, you find that out. I do have a Note 10 Plus, so it'll be interesting to see how big of a device I can put in there. Um, but yeah, so all in all, first impressions, I say this thing is feeling very solid and I'm very happy with it. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and jump into the full At Home with Lucas review of this. Hey, what's up guys? I wanna talk about a sponsor that I have for this channel, Don Pablo Coffee. Yes, people, Don Pablo makes an amazing variety of coffee. I actually went down to Miami, Florida and modeled for his bourbon infused coffee. Yes, people, they have bourbon infused coffee. This is coffee for the people who don't even like to drink coffee. This is coffee for people who love to drink coffee but are bored of the normal coffees. They have single serve bourbon infused coffee. They have whole bean bourbon infused coffee, not to mention all the other varieties they have. They are a small batch coffee roaster. Now you're probably thinking, what does that mean? What does it mean? I'm going to tell you a small batch means you're going to get a fresher bean. Yes, people, everything they roast is roasted smaller, which means you're getting a fresher batch. All the other companies roast in ginormous roasting contraptions, and that means you're getting it less of a fresh batch. So click the link down below, go buy some amazing coffee, and let's get back to the video. <laughs> okay, so first impressions of the ring light. It's actually really, really cool. This is it on, that's off and back on very nice we'll go to modes there's warm i typically stick with there's even warmer i stick with cool it makes my skin tone look the best and it makes my eyes look the best but of course for you you're gonna have to judge it for your own skin people so that's actually with natural light coming straight from the window it's a cloudy day it's not very bright outside there's no sun and that's with the ring light back on once again Ooh. Oh, very satisfying. Now, the question is, if I turn it around, will I still be able to turn it on? No. Okay, so this is not one of those um, IR blasters. This is a directional, so you have to point it directly at. I'm guessing it's that right there. But, wow, that is extremely responsive. I won't know until I get it further away. Uh, let's check the mode. Very nice. All right. That is cool. Turn it up, turn it back down, off. Nice, good job remote, you did the, you did what you needed to do. All right, so this is gonna be a real world remote test. I'm gonna be standing about 15 feet from the ring light and I'm gonna test how accurate it actually is. So here we go, we're about 15 of my feet. So that's 14 to 15 feet away. We're gonna go ahead and hit the power there we go all right it seems to be working not bad let's check the modes all right it's going through the modes that's good all right yeah so it's pretty responsive but once again this is not a ir blaster which means you have to point it directly at said lights you cannot uh, point it to the right or the left it will not activate so it's kind of an old school thing it would have been nice to have an ir blaster but then you would need a more powerful remote all right so we're getting closer now we're about 10 feet away from it and now i'm going to try to go behind an object and hit the power button not working like i said it's not an ir blaster so you're going to have to take that into consideration when you are thinking about buying this if you are trying to use the remote um, with something obscuring it obscuring it an obstruction all right 
There we go. And you can also not use it from the back. So I thought it would work from the back. No. So that's something you also need to take into consideration if you're going to be behind the scenes trying to use this. Not going to happen. This is a point at only. Directly at that little hole in the front. So one of the first problems that I see with the ring light is my camera is over here in landscape mode, my phone I should say, and so I'm trying to position my face to be in the middle of this. Now when I do that, the ring light is off. So it's very, very interesting because you're trying to put your, <laughs> trying to put your face in line with your phone, but then you're also trying to be in the middle of the ring light. So right now I my face is right in the middle of this ring light. So I shoot everything in landscape mode and so that means that my face is off. So I don't know how they would fix that. Um, if I slide my phone over anymore then I will start to block this right side of the ring light. So I'll actually block all of that which doesn't seem to be doing too much of a problem, so I may actually do that, slide the phone completely over, but that is first impressions on it. I'm trying to balance my face in the middle of the frame <laughs> and talk to camera, and I'm finding that I need the circle to be further out to the left. All right, so I really like how wide the stance is on this tripod. I, I have a few tripods and some of them, the stance is not that wide. If you're someone who's afraid of knocking over your ring light, this is for you. This thing will not fall over. Even if you run at it, I don't think it'll fall over. It's super, super wide stance and it's low to the ground. So you're not going to trip over it, which is very, very cool. And here we go. We're going to actually start to push it and see how it bounces around. This is something that most tripods deal with, but I think with a stronger um, extension rod, it could be fixed. Uh, I think this one is just a little bit weak. As you lower it down though, it gets stronger and stronger. So if you're gonna be sitting and looking into this, you're not gonna have to worry about it wobbling at all. Also, if you just don't bump it, you'll be fine. Um, but this thing actually extends, pardon my foot down there, this thing actually extends really, really, really far. I don't even know if I fully got it extended to the max here. <laughs> I don't know who's going to be standing that high um, to look into a ring light, but man, this tripod is almost comical. I'm pretty sure it could go to the eight foot roof um, or ceiling, I'm sorry, eight foot ceiling. So take that into consideration when looking at buying this thing. It is absolutely amazing how tall it gets. And then of course, you get that high in altitude and it's going to get a little wobbly. You just have to stabilize it. All right, so here is another real world test. I have this set up. I'm gonna be doing a coffee review. I also do that on my channel. Check out those videos if you want to see them. But here it is just sitting in my kitchen. I really like this thing. It does a good job. It's not the brightest, so don't buy it for being something to light up a whole area, but I like it. All right, so now this is how you close this down without pinching your fingers. You have to grab the plastic at the top only and pull up. If you grab anywhere below, it will pinch your fingers. But the cool thing is it closes up very, very fast. You just pull it and it literally snaps closed. <laughs> you don't have to do anything more than just pull on it and then you pinch your fingers in there and bam, it opens back up. So it's designed to pinch the heck out of you, but it's also designed to not pinch you if you do it right. So you grab it and you just pull down I absolutely love it. It's so simple, so easy. I have a tripod right now that I use that is so difficult to pull the, the legs out. It's unbelievably terrible. This one, five out of five stars, but it will pinch you to death. Also, you could grab it and make yourself a uh, selfie uh, stick and walk around with some light on you if you were so inclined. 
<laughs> uh, I think that might be hilarious, uh, but uh, it definitely could work. So take that into consideration when buying. Tripod, awesome. All right, so I think I have a full comprehensive review for you guys. I've been using this thing long enough. I think the tripod is great. I wish that it had a better stabilization. I wish it wouldn't rock around as much at high, high levels. But I love, love, love the fact it all tucks right in. This is so, so nice. Definitely five stars just for that alone. But if they could figure out a way to make it more stable, make this expand all the way out and not rock as much. I mean, I know I'm, I'm picking nits here because this is something that all tripods suffer with when they get to a high altitude, we'll say. <laughs> it starts to wobble a lot easier, so you just have to be more careful. Also, this thing is a pinch magnet. This whole thing right here will pinch the living crap out of you. And what I found is you have to hold it from the top and then flick out the bottom like like that and then just literally throw it down and it, it opens up perfectly and then you pull up right here at the top and it all closes but I know so so many people are gonna buy this and they're gonna they're gonna be getting pinched like crazy which is why there is a big <laughs> triangle right there um, it's just something that you're gonna have to learn and I learned very quickly I never actually got pinched by this thing so that that was very very nice um, yeah so I think the tripod is definitely solid and it adds to the whole thing so it's very very nice all right let's talk about the creme de la creme this thing is actually really really nice um, it holds a decent amount of charge the battery is not small by any means and it lasts quite some time the only thing that I wish it had was an LED indicator light or maybe three of them showing where the battery is at because you have no idea how much battery life you have left all you can do is fully charge this thing and hope it lasts for your entire shoot um, so I wish there was like an a indicator light that could tell you where it was or maybe even throw a little LED display on the back with a digital readout telling you how much life you have left like some of the other lights do also this right here is really really nice i love how it just spins in a 360 but i wish that they had upgraded this in some way i feel like this is the weakest part of the whole thing and that's where your phone is supposed to be living so i just really did not like putting my phone in here i felt like i was having to stretch this out quite far now i am putting a giant note 10 plus in here so take that into consideration when I complain about this also when you go into portrait mode you completely block the buttons so that is something that I just wish that they did not have now look how do I turn off the buttons well you have to turn it completely to the side and then you can turn it off so that to me was um, kind of an oversight but they do give you the remote control and you can control it with the remote control so technically you're still able to function but if you don't have the remote on you in a pinch and you're trying to turn this off or change the mode then you're going to be in trouble so also what i was saying earlier is when you are trying to shoot in landscape mode you're focusing your face or focusing you're looking at the camera here your face should be somewhere in this direction which means that your head is going to be over here and over here and not in the middle of the circle so this thing is basically designed for portrait mode and even in portrait mode your camera is up here not in the middle so it, it's kind of one of those things where I kind of wish they would put this on the back and have your camera back here and, and allow you to put the middle of the camera right in the middle and vice versa but they're saying you're gonna do this in selfie mode you're gonna be looking at yourself on your screen and that's what you're gonna do so I am someone who does everything. I'll do selfie mode. I love to do landscape mode. So all in all, I would say that um, if you're buying this just to do selfie mode, then this is good. Now, let's talk about how far away you can be from this light. This light looks like it's very, very bright. 
but it's actually not the brightest one on the market. And if you're looking for something super bright, this is probably not the right one. I noticed that when I went into my garage and I shut all the lights off, uh, my, my Note 10 Plus was struggling to pick up my face brightly. I had to adjust the um, ISO and the f-stop in order to get it to look bright. So this is definitely something where you're going to want to be very, very close to it and talking directly into your camera, and that's about it. If you're trying to be, you know, even just a few feet away, as you can see on my hand here, it's completely changing just as you get a little bit out. So I think that if you're staring a few inches from your phone, this thing is a big thumbs up, big five stars. But if you're trying to do anything else, uh, skip it, buy a different light. This is not going to be the one for you. Now, let's talk about this button pressing. Now, this is the weirdest thing I've ever experienced. Sometimes you can actually hover over the power button and it will turn it on or turn it off. Other times you hover over it and press it and it does nothing. So this is also the weakest point of this whole thing is this power button. It's very, very strange and sometimes it acts like it's turning on before I touch it, other times it doesn't, and even on rare occasions, I end up touching it and it turns off as I'm trying to turn it on because I hovered and I pressed it. So it's very, it's very strange. Of course, on camera as I'm filming, it's starting to act normal, um, but in the real world testing, it was very, very strange. Um, the mode button I never had any problems with. It seemed to work fine. Um, I, I kind of wish that we could adjust the mode ourselves. All you can really do is change the mode to what they have it set to and then adjust the brightness. And I wish that we could fine tune the mode, which would also mean that they could throw in maybe a app or something, a Bluetooth connection, something like that, where you could adjust a dial on your phone and see the battery life. So I think this thing could be truly five stars if they just fixed a few things and maybe upgraded it to a better quality um, or smarter device. So the modes are good. They do the job. I love this, this uh, tone right here. So all in all, I would say the remote is great. <clears throat> the build quality is great. Tripod is great. Uh, the button pressing, it leaves a little bit of, of questioning. Um, the way your phone mounts in here, the swivel is amazing. I love the swivel. It's very, very nice. I just wish getting your phone in and out wasn't having to deal with uh, what I have actually found is plastic. So this is actually plastic. I initially thought this was metal, uh, maybe because of the color tone, it looks like it might be some kind of metal. It's actually just plastic. Um, but I just wish that this whole area right here was a little bit more screen and, and user friendly. It's kind of, you have to kind of throw your phone in there and trust that it's gonna lock in. And um, yeah, I just wish it was a little bit easier on the glide here and a little bit more um, soft around this whole area here just so you don't have to worry about possibly scratching your phone. But one thing I did find that worked great was I would throw my hand in the back like this and I would just pull up and that's how we get the phone out too. So you can do something like that. Now that brings me to this right here. You actually have another tripod mount right there. And then you have another thread on the inside here, which is very, very interesting. Um, so maybe my thought of putting a camera back here, maybe a DSLR, there might be a way to do that uh, through some kind of mounting in the back. I know that I've seen uh, people put a DSLR camera in the back of the ring light, and that way when you're looking in the center, there's your camera lens, you're good to go. So this possibly could work perfect for a point and shoot, a DSLR, an SLR. I don't own either of those or any of those, so I won't be able to tell you that right now, but definitely if you could have your, your lens in the middle or even your front facing lens right in the middle of the ring light, then you're gonna get the best. Uh, but okay, so overall, I'm gonna say that this is a solid build. It does its job. Um, I really actually liked this down here. This plastic is absolutely amazing. It's so, so strong. This hinge down here, everything about this down here is phenomenal. Oh, one more thing. The way this threads in here is 
so awesome. You don't even have to like wonder if it's in the right threading or do anything crazy like that. You just literally put it in there, turn it, and it locks in place. Truly five stars for that, absolutely amazing. But this plastic, you'll notice right away, is so, so strong. Um, this whole thing is just made out of the right kind of plastic. It's soft touch, it doesn't show any smears or fingerprints or anything like that. So this back here is absolutely amazing. And this could be the weakest point of the whole thing, but it's not, it's the strongest. Also, it looks like you can put the tripod on here in different threadings, so they're really saying that this thing is adaptable and it can work in many different situations. You have threads all around the whole thing. Um, very, very nice. So I'm gonna give this a solid 4.7 stars. I'm gonna say it's almost a five star device. It does its job, it's absolutely amazing. And you're gonna see me using this in a lot of videos because I really like it a lot. So. 4.7 stars, very, very solid, almost a five star. Really, if you buy this, you're not gonna have too many complaints. It's gonna do the job, it's gonna work for you and you're gonna like it. Give it as a gift, definitely worth your time and money. 4.7 stars, thumbs up, love it. All right, there you go. That's Tetitri Ring Light. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click to clack that like button. And if you want to join the Ad Home with Lucas family and you want to be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpassed 2K. Yes, people, on my way to 3K, but I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family, this guy's on YouTube. They should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.